So I started building some Shopify stores for a few of my followers. So I own 11 e-commerce brands. Some of them you know, some of them you might not know that I own, some of them medium size, some of them pretty large. And um, so I started taking everything that I knew and I did this like crazy experiment, mad scientist experiment, just taking some of my followers and saying, hey, do you wanna be in a test group? I'll literally build your whole, me and my team will like build your whole Shopify store. And so I thought I'd pull back the curtain on how I do that because maybe you can use it. The hard part is not building a website. Building a website is nothing. Let me just tell you that because if you do the stats, there's like over multiple billion web pages. It's too big. So you could build a site, but it's like that saying, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? That's how most websites are. And so as I pull back the curtain, there's kind of like three things that I do. So the first thing you need is what I call ethically addictive products. Whatever you see on the internet about telling you that the secret to e-commerce is using Shopify or ClickFunnels or this or that, um, if they don't preface it with what I'm saying now, it's garbage advice. When I'm building these stores, we did like 30 recently for my followers, 30, 30 stores done for you, completely done, boom, 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 here it is, give it to you, ready for you to launch. Most people would take a year to build and we'd build it in like two weeks. And ethically addictive is like coffee. That's ethically addictive. Here's why. My second mentor, Alan Nation, who's really the smartest person I've ever met, and I've met some pretty smart people. He said, look, Ty, the thing about business and making money is that the cost to acquire your a customer, your first one or your second one or your hundredth one, um, whatever money you make on them from their first purchase, you're pretty much, it's all eaten up by the cost to get them to buy from you. Meaning the marketing cost pretty much equals the gross profit that you make. So if somebody buys $100 on your website, you probably spent 100 bucks to get them there the first time to get a buyer. And so he said, you only make money from repeat buyers. Like you, all wealth is created from repeat buyers. Think about it, ethically addictive coffee, Starbucks, one of the wealthiest people in the world, the founder. Netflix, is that addictive? Yes, is it ethical? Yeah. How many people are addicted to watching something on Netflix? That's e-com. They've got over 100 million people paying them 10, 12 bucks a month. That's one, $1.2 billion a month. How'd you like that pouring into your bank account? The second thing when I'm building a done for you site, like what I built for these 30 people in a test group, is large TAM. What's TAM stand for? Total addressable market. We could find an ethically addictive product, but if it has a low TAM, that means if I build the site and I, I'm not gonna ever get much volume. There's a principle in, in called stock and flow. Stock means raw volume and flow means like, in this case, your return on investment. So you could build a website that you buy something for $1 and you sell it for 10 bucks. And you're like, look, Ty, I just 10 X to my money this month. But I'm like, how many units did you sell? One. Well, great. You, you spent one, you made 10, your, your gross profits, nine bucks. That's good from a flow standpoint, but not from a stock. So that's why you need to pick products that not only are ethically addictive, have repeat buyers, but they also need to have a certain uh, volume to them. For me, I only go into industries. I used to only go into industries that had at least a hundred billion in revenue. Um, that's why I got into online education, by the way. Online education was $100 billion when I got into it back 2014, back 2013, 2014, 15. It was getting to be around 100, now it's over 100. But like food is an $8.5 trillion business. That's why I have farmer's cart. The third thing you have to know, it has to be the right pricing structure. There's the four Ps of business. There's really seven Ps, that's more advanced. Four Ps, product price, uh, promotions, placement, right? So first thing I've talked about, the product. Second thing is pricing. So you need a certain, what I call an Ascension model. And the Ascension model I recommend is a super low price, followed by a core price, okay? Followed by upgrades, just three. So you need something irresistibly low price. Remember when you go to, let's say the grocery store, Sam Walton from Walmart started to doing this. He was worth $160 billion. And it's because he started doing samples. He was like, here, 
try this little whatever microwave enchilada how much was it free well that's a pretty low price you don't get lower price than zero and it was an irresistible offer it's like cooked right in front of you you're walking poop you eat it and then they say you want the core product here here's the box take it with you and then when you're in the store well while i'm here they designed the store so you have to walk through <laughs> certain aisles that tempt you and then you get to the cash register and they, they show you high profit products to upgrade oh, a little candy here or some magazines here and people add it in that's the ascension model you saw it all your life at the shopping center i mean at the grocery store but nobody taught it to you so that's how i built the sites is with that understanding you've got to have that boom that low price loss leader that ascends up into a core product like I said, the little piece of enchilada for free, the little sample of the microwave dinner, that's the irresistible offer. The box of it is the core, all the way up to all the other things you buy in the grocery store is the upgrades. So here's the deal. I don't really wanna do this in mass for people because um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do it for people. And I don't wanna do it for too many people because it's like almost like building comp competition for myself. but. I'm gonna put a link below. So click the link below or in the corners. It's gonna take you to a page. You fill out, tell us a little bit about yourself and a time when you want my office to call you. We have a calendar, you pick the time and da da da, you know, three o'clock Monday. So for those of you who click the link, get in the test group done for you, e-commerce, website. We look forward to meeting you. Talk soon.